So last one, I want to go to the operation. So after we build it by uh, doing the construction, the last one I want to show you is how the digital twins from the planning, design, analysis, constructed, and even pass to the operation for the performance monitoring, remote inspection, and also the maintain, uh, maintenance planning. So I think this is also uh, like a digital twins here. Uh, we just go out and using a drone or even your mobile device to take a photos for this uh, bridge structure. It's a steel bridge. So you can easily to do the inspection nowadays. So what the, um, the engineer needed is just a web browser. They can browse and go through what is the uh, current need, what is the status, uh, uh, current situation about the bridge. You may have a, the, the models, you may have the CAD files, but you don't know what happened nowadays. But now you can overlay with your models by using um we call a reality model or reality mesh capability. And then we can also provide our tools uh, from using a digital twins here, uh, based on like the network that we create from real or role models. So um, you can integrate, but continues to use it. Nowadays, um, you can see the alignment that we create from the row in some of the maintenance. We don't need uh, two details. Maybe we just need the alignment here. So we can set up the action and then uh, we calculate it. You can connect to the, uh, the two slide open row designer. So uh, we can, if we want to see the details about these models, then we just click it. We can see the model here. So it is, again, it's integrated with the, um, the maintenance teams with the digital teams. We can also connect to the project wise uh, for further more information details here. For example, I click to the uh, alignment and then I will see uh, all the drawing or permission or some of the contract here. And if we want to do more like the uh, loading analysis, so uh, we want to have a permit. Uh, this permit is uh, coming from the uh, system in US. So that's why uh, we can find out the um, US information. We have all the permit based on the single platform. The last thing I want to share with you uh, is, uh, is using uh, iTwin technology here. So uh, it based on using a Microsoft ADT, Azure uh, IoT platform. So it's uh, just a simple one here I want to share with you. So you can have a look about here is uh, one of the using our uh, iTwin service. So again, you can see it is using uh, Bing Map. We have a terrain from uh, using Open Road Designer, but uh, we also have the model we build it. We have a tunnel, we have road models. So it is coming from Open Road Designer and we publish to the iTwin service, that's all. So now I want to, so this, you will see the road tunnel bridge which is easily identified, which is easily located. Okay, so now we connect with the uh, Microsoft Azure IoT uh, platform. So you can find there's a lot of different um, uh, icon or symbol here, which is, is uh, some of the equipment we linked, like the traffic camera, like the thermometers, and some of the like we check the um, different carbon dioxide uh, sensor here. So uh, we have a vehicle counter. We can we can all create it. Okay, th these models. Okay, now, so just quick uh, to, to quickly to let you know, I want to show the live data. Okay, now after I will show the live data, I will connect to the Microsoft uh, Azure IoT platform. Then just hold for a while, the data will call to this iTwin service. Okay, so now your, your model, digital models now is connected with the real times, okay? What is mean the, the, the real time? You will see they will start to change color. Okay, so in the green color, it means that it is normal. So you can see the symbol here. So we have the uh, carbon dioxide, and also you have see the uh, NO2 is uh, going up. What is the current data for this tunnel? It's a very uh, simple source. Okay, now suddenly you find that this model is changing different symbol becomes a uh, yellow color. It means that there's something maybe wrong here. So we just double check here for a while. And then uh, for this um, uh, simulation, we find that um, there's an alert here. So the alert is coming out, just a quick one. 
Okay, so you can see there's a code wet here. So what is the code wet? So there's an IoT alert code wet. Then we go to the issue. Okay, if we find that there's something wrong with this live letter, and we find that the NO2 and CO is going out. So we want the tunnel air sensor have the problem. So we need to see what's going on inside. Then we can go to click the traffic um, camera and then so the image inside now, oh my God, there's a, some traffic accident in the tunnel. That's why we can see it. So this is just a simple um, demonstration to you about how the data from the planning design analysis and then go to construction by Paul, just present it and even go to the operation and link to IoT. That's how the whole workflow is going. So it's I-Twin and Azure Digital Twins integration here. Okay.